whoever wants to start. Uh, ask Mike a similar question, but with you know you have you know off season conditioning all the time and basketball being year round, does it feel like the start of practice like the old days, or does it feel like you've kind of been doing this you know the entire off season? Uh, for us, kind of tired off season. You know, we've been grinding, uh, competing a lot, uh, getting after each other up and down the court, uh, especially like with conditions, just running, getting up and down. I feel like we've been doing this for a little while now. So uh, to change the change of pace, you know, we're going to uh, longer practices now. So being more conditioned for that. But I feel like we've been been ready and going through the process. When it comes to you talk about conditioning, um, when it comes to the last six months and and the possibility of NBA and then, then staying here, what kind of Maybe roller coaster emotionally did that take on you? Uh, for me, just taking taking it uh, step by step for me, you know, just um, being in the best shape I can for my body um, and doing the right things for my body uh, day by day, uh, even taking some days off for me uh, here. Uh, I have in the past uh, couple couple um, days just to keep my body uh, fresh and, and ready to go. How about, how do you feel like maybe you're taking a little more ownership of this team versus a year? Uh, of course, we are losing some big leaders and um, the big three that left. Uh, so me stepping up and um, going and taking that taking that role for the team, uh, being more of a vocal leader and instead of uh, leading by example. And I feel like I've been doing a great job of that, just uh, having the energy every day in practice so the coaches don't have to bring it, uh, bring it for me and the players and just going from there. Mike said you guys have T-shirts with culture of effort. Mm -hmm. uh, what does that mean to you? And I guess how do you carry that forward? Um, then, like, say, it kind of started out with uh, kind of started out us, us in the weight room, and every day just effort. That's one thing you can can uh, work on every day is effort. You can bring it every day and and go at 110 percent. That's one thing. Uh, no matter what's going on, you can bring 110 percent effort, and that's what everybody does every day here at the staff. Is there one specific part of the game, or or just the transition that you have gone out of your way to really help the new guys with? You know, just learning and, and how to handle that. Um, for me, helping them, defense. You know, I'm trying to get them on the court as much as possible. So I know defense is key for us, of course, and just just uh, critiquing them on defense because you know coach is going to do it. Um, just giving them an extra perspective for mine, being on court and knowing some of the things uh, that we do and how to help them out and um, just adjust to our defense. How tough is it to get them to buy into something like that? Because you said it, you know, it's it's such a focal point of this team. And it, it obviously looks like it's kind of tough to learn uh, in your first year. Oh, uh, yeah, it definitely is. You know, uh, we spend spend a lot of time right now going over right now. We spend over over majority of our practice defense right now. Uh, and the coach likes to, likes to does that. And we still work on offensive things, still have a lot of uh, great things going on there. But focal point is on defense right now and making sure these guys know, know our things and know what to do on the defensive side. Out of the young guys, maybe maybe Dejuan plays the most similar position to yours. Just what's your evaluation of him as a player and how you describe him to us? Uh, he's, he's, he's a wiry type of player, wiry kind of guy. He um, likes to get up and go, uh, can handle the ball, push the ball, do everything uh, at a wing spot uh, pretty well. So he's looking pretty good. Uh, trying to take him under my wing, uh, especially help him on the defensive end, trying to get him some some quick minutes. Xavier, what was the maybe the feedback you received from, from that process and how do you incorporate that into your game? Uh, for me in the process, going through that, uh, just being a pro every day, you know, just doing the right thing, doing everything uh, to a T, being exact with everything, and just doing that and keeping that mindset every day. I feel like uh, I take that to that, give that to myself and my teammates. I feel like we can go pretty far. Can that be a deflating process? You're kind of getting some negatives on what your game is and areas where you really need to improve? Uh, no, I always want to know what I can get better at, you know, uh, any any aspect of my game, on or off the court, anything like that. So I feel like it's, it's a help for me uh, either way. In what area? I mean, uh, do you think maybe three-pointers? Is, is that an emphasis this year? Uh, for me, just being consistent all over the court once again. Uh, and that was one of the things, just being more consistent three-point line. Uh, up my presenters this year, uh, getting better shot, more quality shots. So doing that, I feel like it helped me out a lot. Coach says you're smiling a lot these days. <laughs> um, I mean, how happy are you to be on the stage and to be back in another, another year ahead? Uh, just to be here at K State is just uh, just to come back and feel the energy and, and the things that we got going and all the great energy we have. Just just here, just at K State alone. Uh, just great to be back and, and keep keep going. What's something specific, you know, team wise that you think, man, this team has a chance to be better at this part of the game than we were, you know, maybe a year ago with the different with a different kind of roster. Uh, with the different roster, I feel like we're going to be getting out, getting the ball out, and going a lot more. So I feel like offensive wise, we're going to have a more more quick pace, more uh, offensive, more not more offensive, sorry, more uh, transition, uh, getting out, getting out, uh, getting out the floor, and that's what we've been uh, emphasizing today. Like you said, conditioning, we've been conditioning a lot harder. Uh, so offensive wise, getting the, getting the ball out and just getting quick, uh, easy baskets. Me, uh, earlier today I was 220.
I keep asking about young guys I know, but with Monty and Antonio playing a big role, uh, mm-hmm. you know, it's a big guy. Uh, how challenging is that to battle down there physically as young players and to fight through that that frustration sometimes? Uh, it's frustrating as a freshman. Always is just to learn it and come in and, and especially be stuck down there with some big guys that we have uh, that know the spot, know the position. That's going to be tough for them, especially them young new guys getting a little frail, uh, just not getting in the weight room with us for the last couple months. But them guys are doing a great job right now being physical and, and just willing to learn right now. So those guys are doing a great job and stepping up and being ready. Do you remember your mindset? Maybe you were different than them, but the first time you had to lift as a freshman with these groups this group and how different it was for you? Ours was totally different. (laughs) We had the first year of Ben. Uh, so Ben came in with a fresh mindset of uh, I'm gonna just kill everybody. Right. Just, just <laughs> so, yeah. so it's kind of different for us. It's been modified since then a little bit, but uh, Ben does a great job with everybody, with me as well, uh, keeping us guys ready to go and uh, to go on the court. You got a field goal percentage objective that you'd like to reach for this season? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, 50, 80, about 40. With the 40 he was asked earlier, but with the three-point line moving back a foot, do you notice a difference as you take those shots? Is this something you're finding yourself aware of, or is it not as different as maybe we Not think? for me, and going through a process this summer, so I was already adjusted just being shooting farther back. So not for me right now. It's just been it's been comfortable for me. Coach mentioned there's going to be obviously more plays set up for you. Do you have an idea as to what you'd like to average points-wise? Uh, no, nah, no clue right now. Just, just, just in the mindset of uh, being here every day, focus locked in every day, and getting these guys ready to go. He also mentioned you had a little bit of tendonitis. Has that been lingering, or is that just kind of, kind of? It's just precautionary. Uh, I've been in the practice today. Uh, got a full go tomorrow. Uh, it's just precautionary stuff that me and our trainer has been um, looking at. How much will you and Cardi be leaned on to get the buckets on the offensive end? Uh, heavy, pretty much heavy. Uh, you know, we the um, returning guards, him, me, him, and Mac, uh, returning, returning uh, starters for us right now. So we're gonna lean, lean on us a lot. Uh, I feel like we're ready. We got the guys been putting in a lot of great work. So I feel like we got a, a pretty good chance this year to go do some good things. Your last year, do you look at the schedule, or do you really even care? Oh uh, yeah, I looked at the schedule already a couple times. <laughs> <laughs> a couple big games planned ahead already. You know. So. Yes. Barry kind of handed the baton to you or Cardi as far as being a floor leader and being more vocal this season. Uh, that's just been handed off um, through through the through the uh, locker room right now. They they chose me, me, Mac, and Cardi uh, to be the leaders for this team, and I felt like I stepped up as well, just just being a leader myself and just just corralling the team, helping us out, and just just competing every day. I know we ask a lot about your decision in the NBA coming back and that kind of stuff, but if you had to narrow it down to one thing, like what's the one thing that stuck in your head that made you decide to come back? K-State as a whole, you know, just just coming back here, the atmosphere, fans, everything, just the place, love being here. Couldn't wait to finish off my last year. What's that one accomplishment that you're looking forward to put a kind of cherry on top of your senior year? Uh, Natty, of course, you know, <laughs> always looking to get to that national championship game, you know, so uh, getting there and all the hard work that I've been through the last four years, getting there is my uh, main goal. Which of your teammates has surprised you the most in the off season and leading up to this point today? Uh, it's tough to choose just one. It's a lot of guys have been out there just, just working. Uh, Mac for me right now, he's he's been a he's been a big force. He's been he's been doing a lot of good things on the offensive end, defensive end. His body's looking pretty great. He's doing a lot more than what he did last year. I feel like he can be another key piece to us winning, winning a lot more games. You're a guy who took a lot of pride last year in being one of the defensive stoppers. You also mentioned you're going to be asked to score a lot this year. Is it hard to carry both those loads? Is that something you feel okay about? That's something I feel okay about. You know, as a player, you get that uh, extra boost every time you stop somebody, every time you get that basket. So you get that extra boost of confidence, extra boost of energy. So I feel like just carrying that every game, I feel like I'll be all right. Who's going to be the, or it could be a few guys, like defensive stoppers on the other end of the floor with you? Uh, of course, me, but uh, some guys that get after him. Mike, he's easy. He, he locks down. He really can. Mike, Cardi, shh, Mac, it's blocking shots at the rim. I feel like we had a really great group, really scrappy group. We got a we call it the dog pounder here. We got a lot of dogs in here ready to go. Does Mac do a lot more on defense that maybe the untrained guy doesn't know other than his blocking shots and rebounding that we see? What else does he do? Oh, definitely. Uh, two years ago, we. Forced Trey Young about 12, 12 turnovers. Mac was off all high ball screen. Mac did a great job of just hedging, 
and doing the things like that just to help out that doesn't get points on the stat book or anything like that. So Mac does a lot of things that doesn't catch the eye that, that really helps our team.